everyone. My name is Dr. B and... And I'm Mrs. B. And we are Dr. B and Mrs. B Movie Reviews. And I'm an anthropologist. And I'm an independent artist scholar. There you go. And we are starting season two, episode four. This is episode four, Mrs. B. Episode four. <laughs> We've been going strong for a little while. We've been going strong for a nice while. Yes. And as well as we're kicking off the summer, kicking off the summer with the special review of Date Night Movies. Date Mrs. Night B. Movies. <laughs> We are <laughs> delighted that you are here for couples date night movie and a husband and a wife or your own boyfriend and girlfriend. There you go. And we want to thank each and every one of our followers on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram, and also a special shout out to GAP TV Channel 23 in Greenville, North Channel Carolina. Channel 23, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And let me just throw out a little zinger already. Uh, uh oh. Yes, Dr. B and Mrs. B, we're celebrating our what? 30? 34th anniversary. Anniversary. <laughs> anniversary. Anniversary. Wedding anniversary, marriage. There you go. 34 years. 34 years strong. Strong. Every day. <laughs> so the three movies, guess what? The three movies we're going to review. In this episode four are Funny Face. Funny That's Face. Funny Face, 1957, starring Audrey Hepburn. Audrey and Hepburn. And Fred Astaire. And Fred Astaire. Oh my god. Wonderful actors. <laughs> Fred Astaire. Wonderful dancers. Yeah. Wonderful and gifted talents. There you go. And the next movie we're going to we're just highlighting real fast. The next movie is A Warm December. A warm December. December. Starring Sydney, Sydney Portier, See? Esther Anderson, and Yvette Curtis. Yes. 1973. And then the final movie we're going to review, yes. Mrs. B. Yes. The final movie we're going to review, Mrs. B. I'm is getting it fast as I can. Have Plenty. I remember this one. 1997, starring Christopher Scott Sherold, Chanel Maxwell, Tammy Catherine Jones, Robin Lee, and Hill Harper. <laughs> yes, and they are still beautiful looking and yeah. wonderful and talented actors still around, very doing, much. active in their work. Very much. So let's get to the first movie, Funny Face. Funny Face. Funny Face. This is just, now let me be uh, straightforward to you. Uh, I, I didn't see this movie until we got the Blu-ray disc and Miss B said we have to review this uh, this. Whimsical, whimsical yeah. and and also uh, a dancing with Fred Astaire movie, you know, and I was just completely wow. surprised. Audrey Hepburn, wonderful actress, but such a great dancer during the time period of this film. Great dancer, talent, singing, had it all. I was amazed. Yes, and the uh, and uh, the thing was, the plot of this movie is that uh, Fred Astaire, he was a photographer in this uh, renowned, uh, what was it, uh, arts place, this, no, it was a photographer with the modeling agency, and yes. he stumbled <laughs> upon Audrey Hepburn when they were doing a shoot at a bookstore, and Audrey Hepburn at the time was dressed up in this very t uh, timid type of bookstore person, and then when they were doing the uh, shot of the uh, um, the model, they discovered, Fred Astaire discovered Audrey Hepburn. Yes, he discovered her. He thought she was beautiful. He thought her face was this odd, different kind of shaped face, different, unusual, unique. Um, and then a little bit of a um, edge to it, uh, profile. Um, and he really loved how she looked. And he thought, he's been looking at so many models and for ph photography yeah. of so many models for the agency that when he saw her face, he thought, you know, something's different about her. She looks yeah. almost like an artistic piece, <laughs> uh, you know, an uncut rough diamond not found yet. And she was uh, spunky. She was spunky. <laughs> she, she was Books giving it back. Yeah, she was giving it back to her predecessor. Yes. <laughs> Studious. Yes. And um, very witty. 
very witty. And I just love so the way she beat Nick Aaron. Yeah, and she just resisted, resisted, uh, she resisted uh, the attention from Fred Astaire and the, the agency. She, she rebelled against it. That made it more interesting. Yeah. Because <laughs> if she didn't resist that time, that particular interaction between the character role, mm -hmm. um, and then really in real life people clash like that oh, he's, yeah. he's living in one world and she's living in another they were all living in different worlds yeah. and then their worlds came together and then he finally convinced her to put on the, a, a, a little modeling and yes. they she, she, she finally put on this this dress and my she did. She did. gosh she just shined. She just shined. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. She discovered that she liked mm. being dressed and liked the couture. She mm. liked the style. High, the high fashion. The high fashion. High, high fashion. High, high art. High, high fashion. <laughs> and she thought, well, you know, this is not so bad. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm only want to deal with intelligent things. Yeah. I only want to deal with the superb, intelligent <laughs> intellect, mm -hmm. which is fine because that's what we are. Yeah. <laughs> and intelligent. Yeah. But uh, she decided that she, you know, she liked it. She liked mm -hmm. the fashion. She liked the colors. And she felt so feminine and she felt so strong. Yeah. And, and that was wonderful. And then, when, yeah, when she came out, she was gorgeous. And they, and they actually did the... Uh, shot in Paris. They flew to Paris. They flew to Paris. 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 France. Le Paris. Paris. And that's when they that's even did a dance see. move. Now, talk about, I was a, surprised that Audrey Hepburn could dance and move about just oh, with Fred Astaire. Step two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> One, mm, two, three. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. She was good. She yeah. was really good. Up on her toes. There you go. I mean, how many practices that you have to have yeah. in the studio mm -hmm. with Fred Astaire. With Fred, the which, Fred Astaire. The Fred Astaire, which a perfectionist, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. To get the style and the dance that she had to do, yeah. particularly in the poet's. Uh, sweaters of the black poet, yeah. turtleneck and pants, mm -hmm. and doing her style mm -hmm. with the swishing mm -hmm. ponytail mm -hmm. and going at it. Mm -hmm. Now I was just surprised when she went off. Yeah, she went, went off to Paris. <laughs> she just left her family. Yeah, she did. Because <laughs> she was supposed to be back. So yeah, she was supposed to be so connected back so to the bookstore, so <laughs> back in London. She just left so her family. Grab, and she thought, I yeah, shine. I shine. And she just loved. And the chemistry, it, it, I was, let me just be honest. I didn't know the chemistry would be there with Fred Astaire and Audrey Hepburn. And it grew on me. I mean, initially, I just At said. At first, I was like, uh, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I felt the same way. I thought, uh, there's the age. And the age first, yeah. which, which kind of dissipated. Mm -hmm. Which dissipated. Yeah. And then there was the chemistry just you're correct Dr. B. Mm -hmm. chemistry in terms of how they were getting along yeah. and the then the look yeah and, you can, and, and the casting of another you, you can feel there was kind of tugging through the tugging director was work. tugging through how they're going to get these uh renowned stars to that's connect daylight. yeah <laughs> to be romantic daylight. to be romantic <laughs> to be yeah even more I was that's one about thing the to, yeah it's, it's one that's, that's like, what i was really concerned about the romance say, and then it that was a push yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it was a push at first yeah like, mm, let's see what's gonna happen yeah and uh it worked out. It worked out. It, worked it really out. worked out. So, Mrs. B, what do you give? Good writing. because good. It was good writing. Because that type of character and putting those two opposites together mm, mm. Can, began to lead you through a story of the heart mm, and mm. the story of love and the uh -oh. story of, of um, contrast and contradiction. The heart. And the, the story love. of heart. The love. The, the romance. romance. The couple. And the couple. And they, they even and, had a date night. Yeah, they had a date night too. <laughs> yeah, they did. So, and they it really did come together by the end. Yeah, it did. And it was very romantic. It was very romantic. And that's the reason why we are featuring here. Do you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, Mrs. B? It's Audrey Hepburn and Fred Astaire. There is no thumbs down. It's always a thumbs Ooh, up. Ooh, yes, it's a thumbs up. So we oh. get a funny face. A thumbs up. Funny 1957. Thumbs up. There you go. <laughs> 1957 vintage. Vintage. Classic. Check it out. Get it on Blu-ray disc just like we did. And uh, you won't be disappointed. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. And, and it's just, and to me, it was just finally seeing some classic actors, actresses together. Yes. 
and and, and let me and also the um, additional stars, the um, the other cast members, they did an excellent job as well. The supportive cast. Um, yeah, they did. I thought they did a great Very job. So. so again, we recommend Funny Face. You now can't see it. We're not gonna tell you everything. Yeah, we can't tell you everything. Now we're gonna move on to a warm December. A warm December. Starring uh, Sydney Portier, Portier and Esther Anderson, Yvette Curtis. Now, as in this movie, uh, by the way, Sydney Portier directed this film. <laughs> he directed the film. Wow. And uh, let me give you a quick plot line. Sidney Porte, he was a divorcee. Uh, uh, and, no, he was a widower. Widower. He lost his wife. Mm -hmm. And he he was in London. And he was trying to... Uh, uh, and he had a young daughter. And the young daughter, uh, 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 the little girl, Yvette Curtis, she was fantastic in the movie. The little girl, was she, she was, was holding her own. <laughs> A great yeah. actress. Yeah. She was a great actress. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, they were in London, and all of a sudden, they were bumping into this gorgeous uh, woman. Her name, Esther, or actress, uh, actually, Esther Anderson, uh, kept showing up throughout the, <laughs> the the journey. They kept bumping into her. And yeah. she had an interesting background herself, the character. She did. <laughs> you know, I want to read a quick plot about this because I think it's really important. Go I right ahead, Just Lizzie. to talk about this. Yeah. Um, the little girl was fascinating. She's a wonderful kid. Uh, really well at, really yeah. a well yeah. acted mm -hmm. scene mm -hmm. that she did. She was very smart, very intelligent, um, well traveled because mm -hmm. her dad taught her all the things about uh, the world and where he traveled mm -hmm. and his occupation and medical profession. And, um, you know, it could be said in any scene. It happened to be said in a particular country. It could be in parts of different places that mm -hmm. he visited in embassies and consulates in Africa. Our, you know, mines happen to be in, related in terms of Egypt and then Ghana and West Africa mm -hmm. uh, and Liberia and South Africa and, and the lower parts. But this was set in a particular place. And we've seen many other films that mm -hmm. are similar, but Sidney Poirier is very, you know, classic. So I'll, leave, I'll read a synopsis of it. There you go. All right. A lifetime of love and one fateful month. A new city, a new life. Dr. Mar Matt Younger, excuse me, mm -hmm. <laughs> has a lot to look forward to during his stay in London. As it turns out, events exceed his hopes. This lonely American widower, you're correct, yep. receives a new chance at love. We watched this, we loved it. We watched it and uh, watched it again uh, as well. We're going to do that. Uh, Sidney Portier plays younger, younger, the di and directs and direct. this tender story of unexpected love yeah. and the shadow that hangs over it. Willowy Esther Anderson is Catherine, a stranger who seeks younger's help in eluding a man and mysteriously slips away. <laughs> that was a good she was scene. She's always slipping away, one after another. <laughs> yeah, she was slipping away. She was good at it. Yeah. Are you a spy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, why is someone stalking her? <laughs> what connects her to the man with the scarred face? Yeah. <laughs> The answers, <laughs> like the romantic mm -hmm. feelings between Younger and Catherine, mm -hmm. unfold bit by bit. bit, by bit. Filmed largely in and around mm -hmm. glorious London. Yeah, it was nice. A warm December <laughs> becomes a bewitching travelogue of two hearts, meaning beguiled and lovely. Wow. Yeah. And wondrous. There you no, and glorious. In glory. No, no, thank you for that overview, <laughs> Mrs. B. No, the other thing that I'm kind of laughing about is that uh, in the Younger in the right. road, Sidney Poitier, he was uh, racing motorcycles on a regular basis. <laughs> Remember that? He would jump yeah. in. He, he was so busy. He was racing motorcycles. It, it, was, like, mm, it was just... I thought that was excellent to see him actually I, jump on a motorcycle. I thought that was, yeah, he was actually, yeah. I thought that was, you know, that was surprising to me. Yeah. Because he was in the profession of being a medical doctor yeah, he and was doing a, uh, this practice yeah. and had this connection with London physicians and yeah. doctors and research mm -hmm. and, and into sickle cell and anemia and all those yeah. different um, attributes of health and um, at, the, at the top echelon mm -hmm. of his field. And 
flying back and forth between yep. Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. his area as well as London, and then some of his field that he relaxed in mm -hmm. his, 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 his free hobby. time he was racing motorcycles. He was racing motorcycles <laughs> as a, a world champion. Yeah. I don't know if he's world champion, but as a champion, he was trying to you know, champion. trying to compete as so a he had higher all level. These <laughs> multiple tablets, and I thought. Wow, yeah. you know, I would have thought to put that in yeah. the film as he has his other talent. Yeah. But hey, they it put works. it in there. And so, so how do you think the chemistry developed between, you know, Sidney Portier and He the, was looking for a wife, you yeah. know, and um his daughter wanted a mother. I don't know if he wanted to he looking for so. a wife. No, I think it was really? it was I don't think it was really? Seven trying to find a wife. He was just intrigued by her. He the... was intrigued by her. She came out into into the reception area. Yeah. They were at the dignitaries yeah. and embassy parties. And I recall us having our kids go to child mm -hmm. care or places of school with some of the kids in Maryland and Washington, D.C. when we lived in that yeah. area. But some of their parents were um, working for the government, but they were also at the dip diplomat agencies yes. and, and the consulates. And um, and so we all had to take care of our kids and, and go to work. But um, the wonderful thing was is when she come in and she walks in and she has this beautiful African clothing yes. and the beautiful style of her hair. Mm -hmm. And she didn't have on a whole lot of going on with no, her. No, she didn't. She, she kept it on natural. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just her long length of yeah. her body. She's petite, but long length mm -hmm. of her body and shorter, shorter. Mm -hmm. And she just pulled it off with all her clothes and the lines. And then when she was solo and she got mm -hmm. unwell, yeah. uh, then the makeup, how they did for her, and then how he took care of her and they went to the countryside mm -hmm. of England. And I recall that. Mm -hmm. And it was just so romantic how he loved her so much. Yeah, and he cared for her, but wow. he eventually found out what really was the problem with her, the medical problem. The medical problem. And yes. she, and I don't want, Revealed that, but she had a serious medical problem that that prevented him from, you know, really continuing the relationship. S simply because she she had to deal with being diagnosed in that with her particular disease. Yeah, with her disease. Yeah, and that was the sad part. That about was a it. sad part. It, but it was a love story. Yeah, it was a definitely. It, really it, it, it turned out really to be a was. great love story, a great relationship. Love. It was a, 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 it was a spontaneous a relationship. relationship. And uh, yeah. that's what I think it was more of a relationship. It was more along that way. Okay, I would say I say romance, um, struggle to know each other. Yeah. And his kind of heroic knight, uh, like knight in shining armor. Yeah. This black knight, uh, and you have white knights, black knights, all mm -hmm. kind of knights. But this black knight running to her <laughs> yeah. aid, yeah. even when he knew that she might have been in danger, he didn't know the whole story. No, he didn't. But he, he did. was running to her aid. That's true. To take yeah. care of her. And I thought, wow, how romantic. How dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how romantic. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was nice. And again, yeah. when the... Yeah, we still remember all the glorious things as yeah. well. And Present. how he had to tell his daughter at the end that they had to leave. I thought that was so uh, tough. The little daughter was about ready to cry. She was crying. She, she, she was, was, she was, was just yeah, she was screaming mm, everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I remember. So they all connected to another level. So again, what do you give this movie? Thumbs up. Thumbs up for Sidney Poitier directing A Warm December 1973. Warm, warm, yeah. warm, and you can tell he was he was learning, uh, also uh, developing his craft as a director. And that was one of his early directing movies. Yes, Sidney Poitier. The Sidney Poitier. Very talented. Yeah. Very talented. <laughs> now we have our third and final movie. Well, have, he's a master at his craft. Have plenty. 1997, starring Christopher Scott Chirot, Chanel Maxwell, and like I said, Tammy uh, Catherine Jones, Robin Lee, and the Hill Harper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hill Harper, yeah. an acclaimed actor. Uh, at the time, he wasn't. He was. Uh, he was actually a, a rap star in the movie. He was a rapper. Just getting started. And, and he was getting started. And what was his, what was his, and here's the thing, what was his key uh, uh, line? Love 40. Love 40. Love 40, baby. <laughs> Love 40. Love 40, baby. Later on, as he became more acclaimed, I, I saw some of the film and yeah. production trying to pull the movie as if it did. Yeah. It's like, 
Well, why would you do that? It's part of your repertoire. And on top of it, it doesn't define you as an actor. Yes. It's, we all know it's roles and films. Did you want to read the, the bio on this? <laughs> and I think it's all a part of it, but yeah. it, it's, it reminds you back in the day. Yeah, this was back. <laughs> this was a fun, really big book. Well, they describe it as witty. It was so, very witty. Here, here Go is ahead. the film. Uh, for struggling novelist Lee Plenty, yeah, Lee Plenty, the only thing sorrier. <laughs> yeah, that, go ahead, yeah. <laughs> I had to read yes, this again. Yes. The only thing sorrier than his writing career is his love life. <laughs> yeah. He was struggling. He was struggling, man. <laughs> okay. Come on. That is until Lee's old college friend, mm -hmm. Haviland, invites him to her home to celebrate New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Before long, Lee finds himself surrounded by three gorgeous women. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Hello. Her uninhibited best friend. Ouch. That was Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> and her affectionate star sister. <laughs> yeah. That was Robin Lee. Yes, yes. It looks, it looks like Lee's in for a weekend filled with Plenty of laughter, mm -hmm. love, and surprises. A highly entertaining comedy. Still is. This still yeah. is. It plays very well. And let me just say, uh, it reminded me of my days back in the day. Back uh, in the yeah, day. you know, I would relate to uh, <laughs> Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee Plenty, <laughs> getting in all types of Mr. Innocent. He was Mr. Innocent, and yet he found himself in this triangle of of love <laughs> with Haplin. <laughs> and she was going on back and forth, <laughs> dogging him out, one night, was testing him, testing him again and again and again. What? Let me just say, uh oh, uh oh, like why, why do women test like brothers him. like that? You're just gonna have to get with yeah, them. Yeah, why do women test brothers like that, Miss B? Prep school. <laughs> Miss me. Go to my, my prep school and my school in yeah. the national school. What, what is that? In my high school class. Oh, God. Why, why do you get tested? Why do you test the brothers? But he's at University of College. Oh, okay. okay. Like You're not answering my question. <laughs> but not exactly like the movie. But, uh, why, why do you get tested? Why do women test? Why, yeah, why, why did Havlin test Havlin. Lee? He plenty did go so to, much. He went to, he, his, his field and, and uh, he was a writer. He's a writer, and he was trying to get into her mind of how she thinks and how she was. But the thing was is that she had this way of thinking that, well, if I test him so hard and if he can take it, if he's a strong brother, a, st a strong African American man, black mm -hmm. man, then uh, I know that he can handle me. Which is the wrong kind of thinking. Yeah, well, because yeah. It's more he went through suffering. everything. He <laughs> suffered again and again and again. And like, one of and one of uh, Havlin's uh, friend, she said, she called it "you bad boy." <laughs> you bad boy. Have I love that. You, you know, yeah, you a bad boy. Have <laughs> told me about you, yeah. bad boy. So and he's not doing a cause all Yeah, that. exactly. He's I'm trying just to coming here to hang out on yeah, New Year's Just Eve. hanging out, and he gets thrown into this mix of all relationship of this and that. I got this one over yeah. here, thinking she's going to get up yeah. on me. Yeah. And, and I don't want to go there, because then, I really like him. And, and then uh, Havlin's sister makes a play on him. And then his sister, because she just wants to feel yeah. like she's free, and yeah. she still got it. Yeah. But she really loves her husband. Yeah. And she, just, you know, she just got married. And he's just a side, yeah. side uh, you know, the tour for yeah. her to deal with her feelings. Yeah. And uh, so some psych psychological issues yeah. going on there. Yeah. Uh, but that's part of life. And, and, and then the mother, the grandmother, the, the, oh. the, the uh, Havilah's grandmother. Havilah's grandmother. When they went she over said, her oh, house. Oh, yeah, that was You're good. You're going to marry him. Yeah, she said it right up front. You're going to marry him. Yeah. He's going to be your husband. What? 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 He's going to be my husband. Yeah. This broke brother. Yeah, the broke brother. <laughs> and he, you this know, he was husband. homeless. He was homeless for a while. You don't look home. You don't look home. He look happy. Man, he look happy. He look happy. <laughs> I love, that I love that grandma. She's like, no, 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 you look happy. <laughs> you look happy. <laughs> and you look <laughs> So that was a great plot line. And then. And then she talked about other films, about others. Yeah. You gotta like, put a diss on the yeah. other actors. And then you thought they were gonna get together at the baby. end. That's true. Oh, you, you thought they were gonna get together at the end, and then. Yeah. No, they didn't. <laughs> Blessings, anyway. 
didn't get they didn't get along at the, they didn't get together after uh, New Year's. Hallelujah. <laughs> Blessings anyway. <laughs> they didn't get together after New Year's, Miss B. <laughs> they didn't get together after New Year's. And we're not being hoity toity yeah. ourselves. We're in college. And and, and and we had fun, but what you know, people didn't do all what some folks some did, some didn't. But it's a film. It's a compilation yeah. of different people's lives. Yeah, it is, it is. It, yeah, I mean yeah. it, and, and again, it's a it was it played out to to the true of how relationships Build over what time. What you want to ask me that I you think I didn't answer? <laughs> I, 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 no, I just said why? Did, why does uh, why do sisters give brother and sister a hard time? Yeah, I told you, <laughs> Doctor B. You know, again and again and again. Each woman is. I mean, different. again and again and again, <laughs> like you said, and again. <laughs> she just needed to stop and not continue. And again, on and on, and, and again. I'm surprised they didn't run away. I know, that's what I no, would have gave again. I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't run away. And he's yeah. like, I got, what he did say after all that was going, he's like, I gotta get out. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Yeah. But the, and, and again, I, yeah, yeah, we bring this up because the writing, the writing was so <laughs> tight and so but funny. It was, really it was very subtle. Really? Pretty yeah, nice. the writing and the comedic acting Beautiful was faces. subtle. And let me just say the soundtrack, the mo the soundtrack was written by uh, the music Babyface. The artist yeah, Babyface. Babyface did the sound. It, it a, Indianapolis. Yeah, Indianapolis Babyface. And the executive Babyface. director was yeah. Tracy Edmonds. Tracy Edmonds, y'all know Tracy Edmonds. Yeah. And they came actually did a cameo at the end of the movie that Babyface and Tracy they Edmonds. They did. <laughs> we really liked yeah. it. <laughs> I said, there's my boy Babyface. And then he was looking acting good. like he wasn't looking still good. hurt. Yeah, no, looking good. She found out that he, that he really did yeah. like her. But yeah. she was trying to act like um, he, he wasn't, you know, he was trying to act like he wasn't hurt. Yeah, but he was always hurt. <laughs> but he was still hurt. Years later. <laughs> and then... Um, and then all Football of a sudden, she pulls up to she him. Pulls up and, and he says, and he just said, like she is. Mm -hmm. and, he says, and that was I'll, great. And then he said, he still took. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, no, and, and then, what well, was the final well, thing? He said, this is her. okay, and you get what, and you finally got your girl, and you got all this. Got now, all this. now what's now next? What? Uh oh. <laughs> So, so what do you give Have Plenty, Mrs. B? Well, it's a classic now. And the actors, hello to you. You all still look fine. Yeah. Doing well. They're doing well. Um, They're and you still They're remain making. original. Yeah. Um, and that's good. And I like how you script different lives mm -hmm. of people, which are real lives Fair. and good lives. Yes. And, um, and um, these people... Mm -hmm. who are living their lives in their own couple their own romance. Yeah. Uh, it's a true story. It's a true story. Yes, it Just is. like ours. Yeah, very and much. And so, so you give wonderful. It a, you give it a thumbs up. I give it two thumbs, thumbs two up. Two big thumbs up. We'll have plenty. A classic that really plays out well each yes. and every year. Yes, it does. It really was. Now, Mrs. B, I'm going to throw a quick surprise on you. <laughs> There's a new movie coming out this weekend. <laughs> Disney's Little Mermaid. Remember? Oh, you don't have to tell me about that. <laughs> Star oh. again. Coming out this weekend, Disney's Which Little Mermaid we will featuring, go yes, featuring Hallie uh, Bailey as Ariel. Bailey, hmm. last name Bailey. B A I L E Y. Bailey. Yes, Hallie Bailey. Yes. A young, a young African American woman. Uh, Melissa McCarthy as the as the uh, counterpart of uh, the, yes. the bad burger. We're gonna premiere that on our social yeah, media Yeah, and we pages. talked about it, yeah. And how wonderful it is. The mermaid, we're on the coast. Yeah. You know, Eastern and, North Carolina, Carolina coast. And it's so wonderful to know that that movie's near the ocean. Yeah. It's this mermaid coming out of the ocean, reaching up, wanting to be there. Yeah. I wish I could be from the depths of the sea. Mm hmm all the way up into the life that I could not be. Yeah. But who knows what will happen and we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> and when we saw the trailer on this, yes. remember seeing the trailer, oh, it was so magical. It was beautiful, genuine, refreshing, and different from the storyline. Yes. The, the audience in there, when we saw the trailer, they were just captivated. Captivated. Was totally captivated. And it was very believable. Believable. 
and melding the animation, the um, film, the color, the style, mm -hmm. the design, all coming together seamlessly. Seamlessly. So we well. again we uh, again based upon the trailer Excellent. and we're going to see this and so I'm highly recommending to see recommend. uh, Disney's Little Mermaid Disney. Disney's Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid, Mermaid. <laughs> premiere the premiere is coming out all summer it's right here y'all it's right here so and there so there you go we featured three and four movies Funny Face featuring Audrey Hepburn and Fred Astaire, A Warp December starring Sidney Poitier, Esther Anderson, Yvette Curtis, Have Plenty uh, starring Christopher Scott Chirot, Chino Maxwell, uh, and Tammy and Catherine Anderson, Robin Lee, Hill Harper, Babyface, as well as Disney's Little Mermaid featuring Halle Bailey. Halle Bailey. <laughs> so this is a special date night movie. And so let me give a nice nice date night 34 movie. Years? 34 years. Thank you, and we still going on dates. Kids are grown. <laughs> still going on dates. Kids are grown. Chris grown. Start going graduate on school. more dates. <laughs> Off the graduate school. Yeah. I'm already out of graduate school. Thank there you. you go. It's a blessing. This is Dr. B and Mrs. B. I'm an anthropologist and she's a I'm an independent artist scholar. And we want to thank each and every one of you for turning in. Is there any last message, Mrs. B, to our audience? Welcoming in summer. Have a good time. Stay blessed. Stay in love in your hearts as a couple. Be with your family. Mm. Have some traveling on. Mm. Protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Get your shots. There you go. If you need to mask up, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But get your shots updated. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands, stay clean, mm -hmm. all that other good stuff. There you go. And then be you, love one another, and love who you are as a couple mm -hmm. and as you're in your relationship and as a marriage. And go out on a fun date. Go out on dates. Date mm -hmm. night. And have fun all summer long. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>